in today's video i am going to talk about how to prevent focus going out of a model when you are using tabbing in terms of accessibility so let's get started so our question is how to trap focus inside a model so trapping focus is one of the important issues concerning the accessibility like for accessibility in terms of making your website you know usable to the maximum audience and all the audience are not same some want to like use their touchpad to navigate through the website and some prefer keyboards so you need to make your website absolutely accessible to all the users no matter what their preference is so creating a circle with two ends is what the whole idea of trapping the focus inside a model is so the initial and the last focusable component in the model is what trapping the focus entails so this is all the logic is it's very simple so don't you worry now few concepts we should understand before we you know go on to the code and see the functionality of it so basically the first method is tab at index attribute and it is one of the many methods how we can trap focus inside a model so what it actually is that tab index is an html attribute that is used globally it determines which element can be focused and placed it places it in the focus navigator order in which it should be focused or simply tab order so basically what happens is uh, you just define tab index inside the div that you want to make you know focusable so by giving it an index you set the sequence in which the focus will be uh, you know ascending right so a sequence will be set according to what index you give the tab index right so what it uh, it basically handles values in three forms the first one is a negative value which basically removes the element from the tab order so basically the 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 div that or the component you know uh, which is having a negative value of the tab index will not be a focus while you are using the tab key okay so the second is tab index 0 so if you are defining tab index as 0 then what it will do it will do is places the element in the tab order which is influenced by the dom structure so it will be dependent on the dom structure so whatever the dom structure will be the indexing will be done accordingly right so it does not, it will not depend on what 1 2 or 3 you are giving it will just depend upon what element comes first and accordingly the tab index will be sequencing the uh, in the focus so the second uh, second type of value that people usually give is tab index as 1 2 3 3 so in that case indicates the element should be focusable in ascending keyboard navigation with the order determined by the numbers value right so if you are giving 1 as tab index then it will be the uh, it will be the first focusing point then the second and then the third so in the same way the ascending order the focus will be shifting to different components as per their tab index right so that is the whole idea behind tab index is now we will go on to the second method which is element focus now in this it is uh, it is somewhat like you can look for the examples for it i didn't find uh, as uh, you know exam uh, as easy examples for you guys so you can just look for or i'll add in the description if you want to look for the help for this one but uh, element dot focus is one of another methods uh, you know that can help you handle the focus of the tab key okay so the thing that we are going to use is basically on key down and in this what i am going to do is an attribute will be given to the div element inside the model right and it will be handling a function that i am going to create to which the logic of what we discussed earlier will be 
uh, you know facilitate it right so and uh, don't you worry i will add the code source in the description so as you can see guys my website is this so this is the output of the code that i have written so don't you worry i am again telling you that i will be adding the code in the description box so you need not worry and i will show you the snippet as well uh, just in a moment but first see what i have actually applied right so this is the button that will be opening the model and uh, when i press on this this is the model and this is two input boxes that i have written uh, you know created and this is simple text and that's it so this model uh, what my requirement is that my focus should not go out of this model right so basically uh, when i press tab in it so uh, it will not go out as you can see it's not going outside it's not going on the button at the back right this tab in this this is what i want to do is and uh, i will add the code in the description so don't you worry and let me show you the snippet that i was talking about so basically what is there is that this is the function this is the function let me just um, so okay that just came out a lot so basically as you can see as you can see guys this is the code snippet that i have used so this is the function it basically what it does is that it is taking e as some parameter and it will it is actually making a comparison if you are pressing a tab key so in that case the focus will be directed to only the current a uh, dialog box or the current div you are in right so it will not escape and as long as this if is there and you are in that model so the focus will be only that model right so that is all the point is and it will be trapped inside it only so whatever elements you are you can go on adding as many elements the focus will be trapped in that model only because i have added this particular function to the parent of the div that i have defined in the model right as you can see this is the model this is the parent div and this is where the uh, function has been called right so whatever elements i'll be you know passing inside this div will be the focusing elements of the uh my on key down uh attribute okay so hope you like this video guys please like share and subscribe uh thank you and we'll see you next time